Shalom. I want to start off by saying Kal Halal Yamla, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Rekha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. Peace and citations on the Rakim that is spread around the four corners of the earth, spreading this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom to the hopeful elect. I'm the brother Kotas of Zion, coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahushai, with another lesson, with another video, and Lord willing, this video is edifying. Okay, so in this video, I want to speak about the bug outs, man. The, the increasing number of these bug outs. You see? So, in the end, you know, like the scripture says, in the end, there shall be scoffers. Let me see. Start off with that. This is Second Peter 3, verse 3. Knowing this, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, and in the last days means uh, this era that we're living in right now, because this is the last era, this is the last uh, dominion that these heathen are going to have over us, you know, because after this, it's going to be the kingdom of heaven, it's going to be the kingdom of Yashar Allah, it's going to be the kingdom of Yahweh Bajim Yahushai. So in the last days, scoffers shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts, See, so these people, of course, you have scoffers because they've been scoffing at GMS Great Millstone for the longest, you know, that we're uh, raping, uh, you know, underage women and that our doctrine is full of holes, you know, that they want to come against the doctrine of Great Millstone, which is actually the doctrine of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, because we at Great Millstone, we say that we have the 100% truth. And that doesn't mean that we are boastful. No, that is just the, the faith and trust that we have in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai that we have been given the 100% truth, you know. But these other people, they become scoffers because their, their lust and their demons can be fulfilled. So they leave or they get kicked out and then they walk after their own lusts. They start their own doctrine, for example. They start their own camp. They start their own... Uh, teachings. Yeah, man, let's uh, read on. Walking after their own lust and saying, Where is the promise of the coming, of his coming? For since the fathers slept, fell asleep, all things continue and they were as they were from the beginning of the creation. Come on, so this is what they say. So where is the promise of Yahweh Shai's coming? Because since our forefathers slept, you know, he is still about to come, right? You know, so that's the spirit that these buggers also, also are in. Or they do believe in the New Testament, but then they don't call on the right names. Like Yahusha or Yahushua or, or stuff like that. You know, that's not the name. His name is Yahweh Shai. Which Yah is He and Yahweh Shai is, means save, Savior, Salvation, you know. So they turn to their own, they trust in their own mind, they trust in their own thought, you know, but the scripture says the mind is the most deceitful, the heart is the most deceitful above all things, you know, roughly paraphrasing. So these people, these bug outs in these last days, you know, the scripture speaks about scoffers, but you also have bug outs that are popping up left and right. They have, have a wavering doctrine you know let's go into that let's go to proverbs twenty four verse twenty one And it reads, My son, fear thou the Most High and the King, and meddle not with them that are given to change, for their calamity shall rise suddenly, and who knoweth the ruin of them both? See? So, you shouldn't meddle with people that are given on to change. That one time they believe in this, the next time they believe in that. You know, they go with every wind of doctrine, you know. As the scripture says, 
for their calamity shall sudden shall rise suddenly. So suddenly they're gonna be destroyed. You know, the calamity Salakya. Got a knees. <coughs> Sneeze, Salakya. For their calamity shall rise suddenly. <coughs> so suddenly their destruction shall come. For suddenly their calamity shall come. You know? And who knoweth the ruin of them both? Is the most high. The most high he knows all things. But like I was saying, and meddle not with them that are given to change. When it bear with me for a second. No, it wasn't Willow, it was Winnow. Come on. This is the book of Sirach. Sirach 5, verse 9. Winnow not with every wind, and go not into every way. For so doth the sinner that had a double tongue. You see? Case point period. If you go with every wind, if you go with every doctrine, if you go, if you meddle with somebody, is give it all to change. That's the same, that's what the sinner does. The sinner with the double tongue. You see? So these scriptures, they show you what the intents of the heart are. You know, when somebody comes with uh, um, wavering and, and uh, coming with change, you know, it shows you that they have the same heart as a sinner that has a double tongue. So they are the same, you know. It's basically a liar also. You see? So the, the, the scriptures, they show you what the intents of people are, you know. These scriptures are piercing, man. They pierce us under the, the bone and the marrow. They show you exactly what somebody's about, you know, if he's not true and sincere. So let's go to itching ears, because these people... They have itching ears. They have their lusts that they want to fulfill. That's why they leave uh, a camp like Great Millstone, for example, and then they start their own camp. Or they look at the, the camps that are, and they go for the ones that, for example, like, hey, I want to have sex on the Shabbat. Oh, this camp says it, it can't, we can't. So the other one says we can. So I'm going to join that one. Oh, I want to have my, my dreadlocks. I want to have long hair. But this camp says you can't have long hair like that. And the other one says I can't. So they're going to go there. You see? Having itching ears. They want their... <laughs> they want that, that itch to be scratched. They want to be satisfied. You know? So that's what you get from scratching your ear, right? If you have an itch in, on your ear, you get a satisfying feeling. So that's the same way that uh, the scripture explains it. The second Timothy four verse three, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to them teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned into fables. Gone. So they are gonna not endure sound doctrine. They're not gonna stay in sound doctrine, but they're gonna heap onto them false teachers, false prophets. You know. The ones that do give them their, their fulfillment and their lusts, desires, you know. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables. Yeah, man. So the truth is the truth no matter what. And a fable is something like a fairy tale, you know. They're not going to abide in the truth, basically. You see? But these people in the end, they're going to be mocked, man. Because they started something that they can't finish. They started with this run. They started to, 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 to see that they're an Israelite, you know. Started to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. But in the end, they're not going to make it. Because they didn't abide in South Doctrine. Because they are heaping onto themselves bug out doctrines, you know. Because they are given on to change. They listen a little bit to this um, this camp. Then they little, listen a little bit to that camp. 
No man, these people, they're going to be mocked. They're going to be made fun of. Let's go to the book of Luke. Luke 14, verse 29. We start at 28. For which one of you intended to build a tower, sit it not down first, and counted the cost, whether he had sufficient to finish it? You see, so this is what you got to do before you come into the truth. Because you can't just jump into this thing face first. No, you got to observe, you got to see and check the doctrine. You got to know what it's all about, what is required of you, what you, what you can bring to the table, you know. You have to be ready to put off that old man, but we we are ready way past that 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 time period, I believe. You know, as the apostle Tahar says, the elect already has been sealed. You know, but the scripture refers to that. Like before you start with the truth, before you start coming to camp and dealing with uh, um, the truth, you have to count the cost first. Verse twenty nine. Less happily, after he had laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him. You see, so people that come into the truth and they start dealing with Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and then they stop doing it, and then they don't finish it, you know people of the world they're gonna accept the, the the person back but in their mind in their heart they're gonna be like this this man you know he started with something that he can't finish and now he wants to come back to the world but yeah satan is gonna um, accept you with open arms you know these people are gonna accept you with open arms but they are mocking you in secret man Verse 30, saying, this man began to build and was not able to finish. So these people, they're mocking you. If it's not to your face, they're mocking you in their mind, you know, because there was this meme also from, I don't know what cartoon it was, you know, a cousin came to another cousin and they speak about the truth, about he being an Israelite and that now he drove off. So the other person was standing at the window and had a phone in his hand and he was talking to somebody else on the phone he's like yeah man my crazy cousin he just left you know he's one of them uh, israelite uh, negroes you know so that's how these people are when you're gone then they're gonna talk shit about you you know but we this is what we have let's go to Second Peter's one and nineteen, and it reads, "We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn, and the day star arise in your hearts." So we have also a more sure word of prophecy. Let's go into that word sure. Strong's G, 949. Bebayas. 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 And the outline of the book it uses says stable, fast, firm. You know, that's what it means to have faith, to be unmovable. And the second one says sure, trusty. You know, so we are firmly in, in the truth. We have a firm belief and faith that we have the word of prophecy that we have the spirit of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy, you know, that's dealing with us. We're not wavering, we're not uh, iffy about this truth, we're not looking for other doctrine to, to um, give us a soothing feeling. No, man, this is the comforter, this is the doctrine that you have to have to, to soothe your, your spirit, to soothe your anger, to soothe your your anxiety to soothe your everything that you're going through you know the most high left this he left the comforter he left the holy spirit so that we 
can be taught by the Holy Spirit, beginning from the elders and apostles on down, you know. So we have that more sure word of prophecy, which is uh, firm and fast. It's not winnowing with every wind. It's not uh, um, something that is given unto change. No, man, this is the truth and this is it. Strong's definition says, firm of force, steadfast. Sure, steadfast goes into faith. So going back, we have also a more sure word of prophecy, where unto ye do well that ye take heed. So when you take heed to these words of prophecy, you are going to do well. You are going to fare well. You are going to be in a good case. You know, as it says in Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. You know, you shall be in rest. You're going to see everything happen around you. People are going to die left and right, as it says in Psalms 91. But you are not going to be faced because you know the most God, the most high, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, has your back. You know, because you are basically in a movie, but it's a 3D movie. You know, not a 3D, a 4D movie. You are watching everything play out. But here and there, you're going to get a splatter, you know, the, the sprinkles of the water on your on your head. And you're going to feel the, 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 the shaking of the ground of the earth with these earthquakes. You know, you're going to smell the fumes and certain things, but you shouldn't be faced. You should be firm and steadfast in this, this um, movie playing out and that Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is going to bring everything into fruition so that the kingdom can ultimately come. So you should basically enjoy the ride. ride. It's not going to be a pleasure, a continual pleasure, but... You have to enjoy the ride and see you at the end destination, man. Because 144,000 men of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai are going to make it through this ride and they are going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. You know, that's that sure word of prophecy. <clears throat> prophecy means to say before. So before it happens, we already know what is going to happen. So we are not going to be moved by it. Where until you do well that you take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place. Yeah, man, these people are in the dark. But we have that light. As it says in Psalms 119, um, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. So we see where we are walking towards. We are walking towards the end goal. We are walking towards the kingdom. You see? And this, 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 these people, they're in darkness, in gross darkness. Until the day dawn, and the day and the day star arise in your heart, yeah, man. And that morning star is uh, Yahweh Shai. When he rises up to the prey, when he comes, then we are victorious. Then everything is gonna be in balance. Everything is gonna be cle cleansed. But that's when the the real work starts, actually. You know that all these heathens are gonna break down everything on this on this side and build. The kingdom of heaven up you know and gonna build everything up like how it's supposed to be you know so yeah man with that i hope this video is edifying and i want to say kal halal himla yahweh basham yahushai basham rekha kodash shalom akim